What's up guys, Nate and Sutton back with another video and today we are talking about an important subject. So all you're going to give them? You're giving them the rest. <laughs> yeah, today we're going to talk about something that we wish someone would have given us this idea. But I guess you could just say God gave it to us, along with you guys. Yeah, the idea here is that looking back on my life, I lacked a little bit of wisdom. Did you have wisdom? I felt like I had some wisdom. Yeah, Sutton had some <laughs> wisdom, but I, on the other hand, could have used someone a few years ahead of me telling me, this is a good decision, this is a bad decision. You're thinking like a fool, you're thinking good. One thing that I love about this YouTube channel is the reach that we have and being able to hopefully impact other people's lives. And not to say that we have tons of wisdom or like we have everything figured out, because that's definitely not the truth. But we do feel like we have learned a lot through our mistakes. Uh, we have learned a lot through the good decisions that we've made. And we want to help you be able to make the best decisions in your life, whether you're dating, married, having kids, starting a business, whatever it is that we can relate to, we wanna be able to help you out. Yeah, so with that being said, what we're gonna start doing is offering calls with you guys. Like if anyone, because we have been getting messages on Instagram for ever since we started this YouTube channel of people asking us for advice, which let me just start out by saying is so nice. Like the fact that you guys trust us enough to share your problems with us and ask us to help you means a lot to us. Y'all get personal too. You don't hold anything back. Yeah, and so there, it's always like the longest messages, and we were like, how about instead of spending days responding back and forth to these people, why can't we just like have a call and actually talk to them and talk to them for like 30 minutes or an hour and be able to help them? We thought that would be like so much more time, what is it, like so much... Efficient. Efficient, so much more efficient with our time and y'all's time. So that's the idea. Yes, yeah, so we created a Calendly booking link where you can actually book a call with us we put it in the description below so uh if you want to meet with us whether you have a question or you're wanting advice you're just wanting to connect and say hello we would love to meet with you and anything goes it could like all the lists that he just gave off it could literally be about anything that yep. we could hopefully relate to and be of some help yeah we really <laughs> admire realness so the more real people are willing to get with us the better off, the more excited we're gonna be. <laughs> One piece of advice I would have to anyone listening here is to really value the idea of having a mentor or someone who has been where you're going or knows a little bit more about what you're dealing with because you can literally skip years, you can skip decades of failures and time by just getting the right piece of advice from someone. This is your first time in your life having a mentor, right? Yeah, it's like a life mentor, yeah. Yeah, see, I don't, I've never had that, but I feel like that's such a great thing. Like, I would want that. I want to find someone that's, like, older than me that can just guide me. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, for even in business, too, like with Wedflix, we hired a mentor. And I think we probably shaved off five years of learning curves with our business there. And then... Um, I hired a real estate coach and that has shaved off so many years of learning and now I actually hired uh, a business coach. I've probably spent literally tens of thousands of dollars hiring mentors and not that you have to do that but um, just this idea of getting a mentor in your life and that's what we love about this channel is that we can offer our advice to you. So. There's something to be said about humbling yourself and accepting advice oh, rather yeah. than thinking that you just know it all, you know? Absolutely. What is, what's the verse? The wise listen to counsel or something, right? Uh, yeah, there's another one though that the... Uh, with pride then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. Mm. She got me. She got me. I was over there about to Google it and she just <laughs> got it from me. See how wise we are? We like know the Bible. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was so, one of our Bible verses. Yeah, so with that, you know, there's this balance of wisdom and humility and pride. So even though we're, we're advising you guys to be humble and seek wisdom, 
council, we're doing that too. You know, we uh, we don't know it all. That's for we sure. We definitely don't know it all, but we hope that we can help you one way or the other. So, a fun idea that me and Sutton thought would be would be cool is to actually take some of your guys' real life examples, things that you're going through, and talk through them. And uh, so we had a girl hit us up on Instagram recently. We just picked one of the uh, questions that we had coming through, and we're just going to dive into it. And then so we also um, are inviting you all, if you have uh, life scenarios that you would like us to put on this channel that we can talk about, leave us a comment, message us on Instagram, and who knows, your question may just be featured. <laughs> Right? Yep. All right, so uh, what was the question here? Man. Well, let me say one more thing about singing y'all's praises, because I was singing about this yesterday, and I just want to say it. So I am rarely on YouTube, surprisingly, but I was listening to a sermon yesterday, so I got on YouTube, and I was like, you have like a news feed, so I was looking through it. I'm like, wow, there are millions of people on YouTube, and the fact that you guys like choose to watch our videos means so much to us. So I just want to say thank you because you literally have millions of people that you could be watching, but you choose to be here and that really means a lot to us. Which is pretty crazy. I sent something a screenshot the other day that we are almost at 20 million views on YouTube, which is... Uh, Thanks to y'all. You know, compared to some channels, that's not that much. But for us, that seems like a lot of views. Yeah. I can't believe we, our view, videos have been viewed that many times. Okay, anyway, so the question is, her question was... And this could go for guys or girls. Should I show interest in someone that I don't know if they like me or not? And we're going to keep her name anonymous for now because we haven't actually received permission. But if you send us a question... Yo, she, we got permission. She, she said she'll watch this video. <laughs> but did she say we could use her name? Oh, no, I didn't ask her. Oh, yeah. Her but <laughs> if you want us to use your name and details, let us know in your comments and then we'll, we'll, we'll be sure to do that. But, uh, okay, what was the question again? So there's a guy at her church and she's wanting to know... Should she show interest in him, even though she doesn't know if he likes her or not? Mm. So that could go for a guy, too. The good old, should I show interest in them question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sutton came up with a good idea. I've learned to give her credit. Uh, that's a piece of advice for you guys out there. Give credit when they come up with all the good ideas and don't try to steal it. But Sutton came up with the idea that she would respond from the girl's point of view and I would respond from the guy's point of view of what we think would be the best way to do it. Although I'm not sure there's really another way that we could do that. But um, what's the girl's point of view? <laughs> okay, so if I were in your shoes, I feel like I would just throw out some subtle hints. Like there's just little things, you know, like if you want to flirt in a way I just like if they make a joke you could like touch them or you could just send flirtier text messages nothing risky just a little bit just like putting it out there just a little bit and see if they reciprocate it or if, if they're like cutting it off like no that's weird and kind of responding to you in a way like I don't like that I feel like you could tell by the way that they respond if they like that or not but then, if that doesn't work, like if you feel like you're not really getting it and maybe they are reciprocating it sometimes but not all the time, I feel like I would ask them to hang out. Because if you've watched our videos in the past, you've seen that I just don't like to play games. It's just like such a waste of time. If you're dating to marry, stop playing games. Mm. So you could just ask them, like, hey, do you want to hang out? Like, just me and you and see what they say. And it's not ideal to be the one to do that. I feel like if a guy is genuinely interested in you and he's not super shy he would ask you out i would think so if like if you're not getting the vibes that he likes you i would jump to the conclusion that maybe he just sees you as a friend but if you want to be sure i would not be afraid to put myself out there mm -hmm. yolo good job is that still a saying <laughs> good job <laughs> not for these viewers um are you are you good feel complete yeah so so as a guy how would you best accept someone trying to tell you like hey i like you yeah like the most attractive way what would not be a turn off yeah well first off i, I want to say a few things one is that you never know where a person is in their life you know uh for example prior to me meeting sutton I was not a huge fan of girls taking initiative. You know, it was actually a little bit of a turnoff. 
feel like most guys might feel that way. Yeah, and I think, yeah, true. And, but it just so happened that by the time I met Sutton, I felt like I was ready for a girl to actually show interest because um, I wasn't getting much of it. <laughs> But more than that, it was like I was so tired of the games, you know. I just felt like girls were playing games and they may have been interested in me, but they were wanting to pretend that they weren't. I was so tired of it that Sutton was just like, boom. Like she was not afraid to show that she was interested in me. She was uh, very persistent. And no, I wasn't. I was like begging you to hang no, out. No, yeah, I'm painting that picture a little bit inaccurately. <laughs> but the point is that I was in a place where at that point in my life that I was like, I'm ready for a girl to be real with me. And then when something was doing that, it was so refreshing. So with that said, I don't think you need to view it in a way of like uh, trying to manipulate the situation because ultimately I think my, my advice to you would be to trust in God that he will make this work or not make it work, whether it's his will or not. And if it's his will for you to be with uh, this person, then I think the only thing that you can do is be honest and um, to not try to play games. Anytime I think we're trying to be manipulative or play games or be deceptive, then I personally can't live at peace with that. Yeah, we were talking last night about how we would not advise you to get one of your friends to go to him and be like, hey, you know, do you like her or him or whatever? Like getting a middleman, that is so middle school. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, for sure. If I had, like, as from a guy, if a girl had a friend that came up to me and was like, "Hey, are you interested in my friend? Because I think she likes you," no, that that wouldn't come off very good. But uh, to give you just like some hard practical advice, I know that was a little bit up in the air. Um, I would say kind of what Sutton said. Like, first of all, most of the times. 99% of the time, if a guy likes you, it's going to be pretty obvious. If you're questioning if a guy likes you or not, most of the time he probably doesn't like you, unfortunately. Like you in that way. Like, like you in that you way, yeah. Like you as a girlfriend. But if he's just not showing interest and you still want to know and you still want to exhaust that effort, then yeah, I think you should start making some moves, whether that's, you know, flirting with them a little bit or... And then if he's still not showing any interest, then maybe just straight up ask him out. Um, what do you have to lose, really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that kind of leads me, leads me to my point of, you know, if you don't want to do that, it might be because you're afraid of rejection, which who isn't? You don't want to be a failure. A failure is not someone who fails to succeed. Failure is someone who is so afraid of failure that they never even try. Don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. <laughs> Quote from Cinderella. <laughs> but ultimately, you know, biggest advice for this is just do what you feel like God's calling you to do and know that he will make it work if it's meant to be. And if it's not, you don't want it to work. Yeah, don't force anything that's not meant to be. The amount of girls that I wanted things to work out with before Sutton. Let's not talk about that. Let's just say it was well worth the wait. Right, babe? <laughs> you say it like there were so many. Well, there was a few. All right, guys. So we're really wanting to do a lot more of these kind of videos where we're just offering our real life advice to you and hope that it helps. And so if you have something going on in your life that you want advice for, for feel free to shoot us an Instagram message or send a comment below. We may just feature it on the channel. Or... Remember, if you're wanting to get real personal, we can even face-to-face -face book a call with us below in our description. And most importantly, if you do message us, try to keep it, you know, brief. Short. <laughs> in the nicest way possible. <laughs> Just keep it short. Short uh, and sweet. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to get, get deep, we can for sure book a call with you and go deeper in the detail. But, um, you know some of these Instagram messages we receive, we, it, it's a would overwhelming. it would take us like 30 minutes to read some of these messages. We just end up never getting to it. So that's our request. This is Nate and Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration one view at a time. And that was what we wish someone would have told us or whatever we're gonna call this video. <laughs>